Yes, big dogs. I'm hearing the yells, the yelps, the screeches on Twitter. I've gotten 250 tweets in the last 10 minutes about Damian Williams officially opting out of the 2020 NFL season. Why do we care? Because Clyde Edwards Hilaire is there. Say it with me. Why do we care? Because CHH, CEH is there. Why do we care? Because CEH is there. All right. No one really liked CEH as much as myself, Mike, and Noah after the NFL draft. It was all good shit. First round draft capital, first running back off the board, executives, coaches, Patrick Mahomes. Who do you want us to draft? Clyde Edwards Hilaire was the guy. It's probably no coincidence that he said that, that Joe Burrow said Clyde Edwards Hilaire was the best player in college that he has ever played with. It's no coincidence that the man came out and absolutely ruined the SEC for defenders. Clyde Edwards Hilaire was a monster in college. Now, I've said some remarks recently about why I pulled back on Clyde Edwards Hilaire in season long leagues, in redraft leagues. And I think what I said made sense. It wasn't that I stopped liking Clyde Edwards Hilaire as a player, but the more this coaching staff came out and talked to beat reporters, the more they would echo things like, Damian Williams is going to be a very big part of our game plan. Damian Williams is going to take a step forward this year. Clyde Edwards Hilaire is competing for the job with Damian Williams. Damian Williams has been amazing when he's on the field and getting touches. Damian Williams is the guy who has long breakaway speed that can hit the home run and score from 70 yards out. Clyde Edwards Hilaire is not a home run player. His four, six ish, 40 yard speed dictates that, but it doesn't tell the complete picture. Clyde Edwards Hilaire is incredible within space, incredible at seeing the hole and making guys miss. The agility behind Clyde Edwards Hilaire is nauseating for defenses. What does this mean for Clyde Edwards Hilaire for 2020 season long? This is my live reaction. Did absolutely no fucking prep for this, except I've been prepping for the last two months pretty much because that's all I do is think about and talk fantasy football all day, every day. Where does this move Clyde Edwards Hilaire to? He's a first round pick, man. That's it. There's really what what I think they're obviously going to need another running back. No, before you fucking even comment on it, you could do it just for SEO purposes. I wouldn't hate that. No, Darwin Thompson is not going to be a thing. I wouldn't be surprised whatsoever if they re-signed LaShawn McCoy. I mean, he was a free agent, but he knows the system. And I'm sure Andy Reid is comfortable with him being there as a depth play. But this becomes Clyde's backfield. This becomes his bike field 142%. And that's about the number of touches he's probably going to get a game now. So he becomes the front runner for rushing work. He becomes a front runner for receiving work. And he becomes a front runner, most importantly, for goal line work. Patrick Mahomes, since he has been the starter in Kansas City, in games where he is the starter under center, Kansas City running backs have averaged 1.72 touchdowns per game. 1.72 1.72 touchdowns per game. That is like 26 touchdowns. I'm not, I'm actually pretty, I always say that in videos. I'm always like, I'm not that good at math, but I'm pretty fucking good at math. That's really hard to do. I'm going to do it with my calculator, my TI-84. I know you guys are going to get fucking big mad. Shout out. Give me a thumbs up if you're still rocking with the TI-84. I like to see things visually. That's why I have whiteboards everywhere because I like to plan things out, right? That's why the TI-84 shouts. That's actually 83 plus. 1.72 times 16. 27 and a half touchdowns this year if we continue the pace of Patrick Mahomes running backs. I don't tell you. Clyde's got a floor of double-digit touchdowns, man. And if that doesn't get you in first-round draft capital, I don't know what the fuck can. He doesn't even need to be good. (coughs) You don't have to believe he's talented, which he fucking is. I'm out of beer. I need another beer. I need to order fucking pizza is what I need to do. The reason I didn't comment on anything Twitter-wise was because... Um... I was in the middle of filming a mock draft. So we filmed with Matt Kelly today, actually. So I got on the Roto Underworld podcast with Matt Kelly, two hours and 30 minutes, which is dropping tomorrow morning. So if you're a fan of the Roto Underworld podcast, I am the guest for this week. So we did that. I just filmed the mock draft for an hour. Now I'm filming this. I, I love to be committed to y'all. This is what I do. So Clyde Edwards Slayer, where does he fit in the bill? Uh, he is still behind C Mac, Saquon Barkley. Alvin Kamara and Zeke, Derrick Henry, I'm still taking ahead of him. But I'll tell you what, man, he's right in that next year. He's up there with Sanders. He's up there with Josh Jankups. He's up there with 
I mean, I'm taking him above Michael Thomas. He's, he's right there, man. I can't argue against it. I can't do it. You can't. You can't win with him. You can't. You can't not win with him. That's the fucking premise here. Kyle Slayer is just set up in a ridiculous situation. I'm gonna have to go into my rankings right now, flip things around, see how far up I want to move them. Those rankings will be available in the draft guide, which you could see right here. The directions for getting them. The draft guide is fucking unbelievable. It's ridiculous value, and you could literally get it for ten dollars right now along with $25 to play with on Monkey Knife Fight with $10. So you head over to monkeyknifefight.com. You use the promo code BDGE when you deposit 10 bucks. They will give you 25 to play with, and you will get access to our draft guide on bigdogsdraftguide.com, which will have all my rankings, which will have the must-draft players, top sleepers, undervalued, overvalued, the do-not-touch list, the all-fade list for big dogs this year. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys my quick thoughts on CEH. Yes, of course, the fucking stonks are through the roof right now. If CH was a stock, if he was a stonk, I'd put a lot of fucking money into it. I'd sell my TA83, and I'd put that money straight into CH stonks. First round redraft pick. Dynasty, I mean, he never, uh, Damian Williams being there was not something that was pushing me back away from CH and Dynasty, so he probably won't move much in my rankings. Wanted to get my quick thoughts out to y'all. He is absolutely right in that tier with the guys behind those elite running back options in fantasy. That's all I got for you. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Also, by the way, that, that guard that opted out from KC, uh, the one who's actually a doctor, shout out to him. If you're wondering whether or not that's going to impact their line very much, one, Patrick Mahomes impacts the line. He impacts the defense more than anything can single-handedly do so in the NFL. That guy was like the 50th graded guard out of 80 qualified guards in pro football focuses rankings. So he was he was not even like at, at an average level of blocking. Obviously, the continuity you want to see with the offensive line, but it's not like they're losing a huge piece to their O-line. So I'm not taking that too much into effect. CH, first round redraft pick for sure. I ain't going to argue with how high you want to take them. That's it. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed. If you're on the podcast listening, I would really, 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 really appreciate a review down below. So let me know you appreciate the work we're putting in over here. Live, real time. Goodbye and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Love you.